Hello guys, today I will disassemble Oppo Find X, which is different from other phones I have disassembled before due to the fresh periscope structure. Let's do it! The periscope structure has already taken one third of the room of the phone. The SIM card tray could only be set at the bottom. The red gasket around the card tray is designed for water resistance, but according to Oppo News Conference, Oppo Find X can only be life waterproof. Use 100 centigree to heat up the back cover for 30 seconds. Then use an ultra-thin plastic card to try to make a gap. Do the same to the other three sides and then you can open the back glass. The back glass of Oppo Find X is made of Corning Gorilla Glass 5, which is the same as the front display. Now we can see that there's a lot of adhesive under the back cover. They're laid out on four sides and the Oppo logo is surrounded by adhesive. It's not a traditional three-stage structure. It should be a deformation of the three-stage structure, four-segment structure, that is. The periscope structure plus bracket area plus battery plus speaker subboard. Starting from the upper bracket part, remove all the fixing screws on the middle black bracket and remove it. The inner grain and the groove are in one-to-one -one correspondence with the display side, including the slot of the coaxial line. There are one limiter on each side of the track to control the height of the lift and zoom of left and right. The limiter acts as a block, buffer, and stable track slip. Since the main board is placed inside the periscope structure, the coaxial line should follow the lifting and lowering, so the wire is reserved with an extra length to ensure moving flexibly. The power source is the spiral stepping motor in the middle. Now before we disconnect the battery, let's have a look at the working state of Find X's periscope structure. It's really cool between up and down. Disconnect the battery cable buckle. In the center of the structure, there is a small piece of metal fixed by two screws, which can realize the combination of the motor and the dual-track periscope structure. Now disassemble the stoppers on both sides. Be careful because the coaxial wires are embedded in them. Push the periscope structure forward in the rising direction and control the force, because there are two ribbons below, so that the structure can be lifted. The left and right sides are fixed by four silver screws, which are sliding rails. The part corresponding to the track on the structure is completely embedded in the track when it is fastened, the similar principle to the drawer track of the cabinet. The curved piece on the top of the double photographing side is ceramic. It is made of a whole piece of ceramic, which is baked, polished, and CNC machined. Above the main board is a piece of cover plate, which is a pair with the previously removed one. The two are fastened together, and there is no big part in between. Except some parts of the engine and the coaxial line, the space is reserved mainly for the line. The edges of the inner slots of the two whiteboards are all arranged with foam, which is transversely penetrated to increase the tightness of each layer and prevent dust and moisture from entering. Disconnect the motherboard cable, charging port cable, antenna, and the connected coaxial cable and the engine cable from the motherboard. The two cables at the end of the periscope structure are secured by two plastic covers. They can be removed with tweezers. Then handle the slide rails and remove the main board together with the periscope structure. Disconnect two cable lines that connect to the motherboard. There are two metal contacts on the front side of the periscope structure and two long strip contacts on the inner side of the screen assembly the length of which is slightly longer than the sliding distance, to ensure the metal pieces and the contact are continuously connected during the sliding process. Find X belongs to the spiral stepping motor, and the motor drives the threaded screw to move and realize the displacement of the slider. Its supplier is NIDEC, Japan Electric Company Limited. Periscope Structure It is the most sophisticated part of the entire phone, which is fastened by a number of special screws. Heat up with 100 centidegree for 20 seconds and then try to open it with a thin card. The lens part of the periscope structure gets full glue underneath, but that makes sense because if the coverage of the glue is not comprehensive, it is easy to have gaps and curls. There is a detail here. Only the position of the front camera on the cover is made transparent. The corresponding positions of other sensors are black from the outside as if they are opaque, but they are all green. This requires both a visual aesthetic and a possibility of sensor signal penetrating, which can say a hidden design. Remove the metal plate by unscrewing the screw. The round and square openings in the metal plate are reserved for the sensor, 
The middle part is the mesh of the earpiece, and the distributed foam acts as a reinforcement and cushioning. Let's turn back to the periscope structure. Eleven functional components are distributed in the small space components, and the structure is sophisticated. Look at the top. From left to right they are infrared camera, flood illuminator, proximity sensor, speaker, front camera, dot projector. Disconnect the infrared camera and the other connector's flex cable. We can remove the whole 3D structured light. The front camera is 25 megapixels, the aperture f2.0. Support 3D beauty selfie, portrait light effect. When using the Find X Self Timer, the front image, the front camera will construct a 3D model for the user and analyze the face and facial features through AI intelligence to make 3D depth beauty, which makes the beauty effect more stereoscopic, no longer so rigid as 2D beauty. The dot projector mainly assists in facial recognition by projecting 15,000 light spots to the human face, establishing a 3D depth map with millimeter precision quickly compared to the face information stored in the mobile phone, and finally unlock. Disconnect the rear dual camera cable ties and take off the camera. The Find X main camera is 16 megapixels. It supports OIS optical image stabilization and RAW HDR. The secondary camera has 20 megapixels and the aperture is f2.0. From A side, we can see multiple coaxial bases, the shield is covered with nanocarbon copper. For such a special mobile phone, cooling is the most important. All cable connectors have a ring of foam that have both a seal and a cushioning effect. On the B side, there is also a nanocarbon copper with a larger coverage. The concave place is arranged with a transversely through foam around. It has the same function as the two plastic baffles in front. It can be seen that Oppo engineers have made great efforts in sealing dust. There are five metal contacts on the left and right sides of the bottom, corresponding to the five contacts on the side of the screen assembly, respectively connected to the power button and the volume button. The ultra-high screen ratio screen of Oppo Find X's also creates a series of technical problems, such as proximity sensor, which cannot be placed on the top of the mobile phone like the traditional, because there is no place. Then how does Find X solve this problem? Find X relies on the touch of the screen to detect the contours of the ear and the face and match the big data of the human ear and the face model in the mobile phone to determine whether the user is answering the call. In addition, depending on the two infrared sensors in the middle of the B side of the main board, there are two semi-transparent circular holes that can be seen corresponding to the position of the screen assembly. This is not to say that the screen has been specially treated, because the screen has a certain light transmission itself. Two circular holes are designed on the screen supporting frame, and the infrared signal is transmitted through the holes, which can assist in detecting the distance and light. Find X battery also keeps Oppo's quick-release design. According to the prompts, it can be easily removed. Among the different versions of Find X, in addition to the difference between memory, fast charge, and back panel, the battery capacity is also different. In my hand, this is the Super Flash Edition, the battery capacity is 3400 milliamps. Different from the standard version of the whole battery, the data given by the SuperFlash version official website is 2 times 1700 milliamps equals 3400 milliamps. That is to say, it consists of two 1700 milliamp batteries. Now, let's take a look at the battery. In case of emergency of disassembling the battery, I will do this outside. Tear off the black tape around the battery. We can see that there are two batteries. Each one gets two connectors, which is like the battery positive and negative. As a 1700 milliamp battery, Oppo Find X seems smaller than other phones. Take a look at the 1440 milliamp battery of iPhone 5, obviously. The rest of the work is much simpler. Unscrew the screw of the loudspeaker, remove it with spudger. The vibration sticks to the inside of the loudspeaker. This coin-shaped vibration motor has much worse shocking effect than the iPhone's linear motor. Disconnect the main and subboard cable, the screen cable, and the black and white coaxial lines. Unscrew the screws to remove the subboard in addition to several flex connectors on the subboard. There are mainly two components. One is the microphone, and the other is a SIM card slot. 
As for the USB interface, it is connected to the motherboard through the flex ribbon alone, mainly because of the special feature of the VOOC flash charging, and also to avoid interference, this option is chosen. The rubber ring on the outer edge of the interface is mainly used for waterproofing and sealing. Now we've done all the disassemble work, feels like doing a superior difficult math homework. No wonder people say it's the most complicated phone in 2018. What do you think of it? Will you buy an Oppo Find X? Leave your comments and give me a thumbs up. See you guys next time.